okay you are looking at this image right here you can see right here it says small current trigger problem which is to solve no trigger problem no powering problem in a mobile phone okay so i want us to talk about uh, dc power supply in mobile repairing so if you want to make uh, your, your troubleshooting easy then you should not skip this video this wouldn't be a troubleshooting video but i want you to see the use of dc power supply because i've noticed that a lot of mobile phone technicians think that okay dc power supply is only used to supply voltage in a mobile PCB. Nope, that's not the only use of a DC power supply. In fact, a DC power supply is highly recommended when using, when repairing mobile phones. Okay, so I, what I want you to understand is that a DC power supply is not a tool used in troubleshooting mobile phone, but a tool used to tell you exactly where you need to start troubleshooting a particular mobile phone problem. A DC power supply can be used to check the current consumption of a dirt mobile phone or a current consumption of a mobile phone that is talking on both low. And when you know how to use a DC power supply and you know all this current consumption that I'm talking about right here, you will know that if you see this particular consumption and the phone is not switching on, this is where in the mobile PCB in which you will go straight to troubleshoot. That's because when a mobile phone is booting up, each part of that mobile phone consumes a certain amount of current. And when the phone is booting up, the DC power supply will show the changes of that current consumption. So, which means that if you know these different parts and you know the certain amount of current that you need to consume, when you are troubleshooting a dead mobile phone, then you see the current reaction in the DC power supply. You will know that, okay, you need to go straight to the power IC. You need to check the power section. You need to check the CPU section or the hard disk, the ENMC. Okay, I mean this lesson is a big, very big lesson, but you can learn this in my professional level course. As you can see right here, this is an example of the course right here. I explain everything. I explain each current consumption of each part of a mobile phone in such a way that if you hold a mobile phone, you have a DC power supply and the mobile phone is not switching on or maybe it's talking on boot logo. Once you connect the phone to your DC power supply, press the power button. If there is no trigger, you will know what to do. But if there is trigger, which means that the, the current consumption stops in a certain level, then you will know exactly where to check on that mobile PCB. Um, so just my right here. You can send me a message on WhatsApp in case you need my online calls, and also check my videos on YouTube. I'm on YouTube named so just my fix. So click on my bow right here, and you are going to see my YouTube channel.